Now the next concept is one of three of the uh, fundamental building blocks of computer science. Okay. The first building block are variables. The second building block are what we call branches. I'll go ahead and click over here. Ooh, that's not right. Okay. I'll click over here. The first building block are variables. The second building block are branches. And the third building block are loops. And every program that you've ever seen, from the simplest little game to the most complicated, uh, maybe Photoshop, right, is, a, is an application that was coded, uh, to a program like Photoshop, which is like several gigs big, uh, gigabytes uh, big, uh, have all been created by using different combinations of variables, branches, and loops. Yeah, that's all it is. It's the basic building blocks of every program. And so we're going to go ahead and talk about variables first, and then we're going to talk about branches in, a, in the next module, and then we're going to talk about loops in the next module. And then everything after that are just uh, different ways that we can organize our code. Okay? But the basic building blocks, just the, the bare bones of how we're able to solve problems using uh, Python or any other programming language, are these three concepts. So what is a variable? Well, you can see here that for variable, I use this picture. And this picture is supposed to be a picture of uh, school lockers. Okay, These, I guess, are high school lockers, where they're very long and big because high school students have a lot to carry in their uh, daily routine. Uh, and, and so what is a variable? When you, well, you need to first make a variable, and then you can use the variable. And what is a variable? It's a place where you can save a piece of data. And uh, we're not going to talk about uh, exactly what data it is right now, but we're going to get into that in the next video. But we could save things like names, right? Like when you go on Facebook or some, one of your favorite uh, media sites, like maybe a Roblox.com. Right? When you log into Roblox.com, it says there, hello, John B., right? Or hello, Elsa Huang. Um, and so how does it do that? Well, it saves your name in a variable. Okay. And a good uh, way to think about a variable, I like to think about them as cups, right, that you put things inside of. But you can also think of them as lockers. So if we create a variable, we're creating this locker, we're giving it a name, and then we're putting a value inside of the variable. And why is that useful? Well, it's useful because now we have a place where we saved your name, and whenever we want to uh, show you your name or maybe show your friends your name, we just need to go back to this variable that we created and take out the contents and print it to the screen. Right? And uh, yeah, we could do a lot more interesting things with variables, but uh, that's generally what they are. And I guess in the next video, we will talk about uh, how to use them and what we can actually save and store inside of them.